Hey everyone, today I'll show you how to track the buildings and attach the videos or anything to the buildings. So first we have to drag this video into this icon to create a new composition in Adobe After Effects. So we have our video on the timeline. You can track the building and create a new composition to attach to the building in different ways. You can also use the mockup plugin to track any surface. But in this tutorial, I'll not use the mockup plugin. First, we must drag the time indicator to the first frame and select the video layer. Let's go to the tracker and click on the track camera. Enable the detail analysis and then After Effects will start analyzing the background of the video. It will take time depending on the length of the video and a system configuration. Now you can see a lot of tracking points on the screen, which allows you to create compositions to attach videos or objects to the buildings. Okay, let's find a red target following the building angle where we wanna attach the video. Now click right button of the mouse to select create solid and camera. Well, it is time to select the track solid layer and then you see the blue solid sticks to the building. Now adjust this solid with the building by changing its position and 3D rotation. At this stage, we have to right click on the solid layer and click on the pre-compose that allows us to edit it. Now check this box and hit OK. I'm dragging the new video from the project panel to the timeline and putting it underneath the solid layer. Change the track mat to alpha mat. We can also adjust the video size here. Go back to the main composition to see it. If needs, again go back to the solid composition on and adjust it. The main composition also allows you to adjust the video size, 3D rotation and other things you wanna change. Now we can call up this track solid layer. Now we have to draw a shape on the building like masking. First hide this solid layer by clicking on this eye icon. Make sure the time indicator is at the first frame and no layers are selected. Click on this pen tool to enable it. Now we can draw a shape around this building like masking. And then you see a new shape layer on the timeline. Ok, get back and select the selection tool. Select the new shape layer and hit the T key to expand the opacity. Load the opacity so it will be easy to draw the mask. Again hit the T key to hide the opacity. Click on this arrow icon to expand the shape layer and go to the path on. Click on this stopwatch to create a keyframe for the path. Now select a shape on to enable the masking points or shape points. Move the time indicator a few frames forward. To make the masking easy, you can scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out the composition. Hold down the space key on the keyboard to get the hand tool that allows you to grab video or image and move them around when you are zoomed in to more than 100%. Now free the space key to return to the selection tool. Change the position of the masking points when requires. In this way, you have to mask the whole video. It will take you a few minutes to complete the masking. Finally, we have completed our masking. Now change the zoom level to fit. We can play the video and it looks good. Well, now we can call up the shape layer on. Hit the T key for the opacity and increase the opacity to 100%. Again, hit the T key to hide the opacity. Now select the track solid layer on and change the track mat to alpha shape layer on. Click on this box to unhide the layer that we have hidden before drawing the masking. So now we can see here that our video sticks to the building. It is time for the final touch to change the mood. You can choose any mood depending on the video. For this video, I think lighting is the best. If you wanna add more videos or anything to the buildings, expand the video layer and select the 3D camera tracker to active the tracking points. Now select a red target and right click on it to select create solid. Adjust it like the previous, make a pre-compose to add a video to that composition. Draw a new mask, this way you can attach more videos to the buildings or any surface. I hope guys you really enjoy this After Effects tracking tutorial. A lot of people ask me to make this tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section.
I'll see you guys in the next video till then goodbye.